Hi, Ashley here with hearthookhome.com and we are ready to start part two of the Painted Canyon Cardigan Crochet Along. This is my completed part one. It's a large rectangle. Yours looks exactly the same as mine or it should. We have also plotted out our stitch markers. We've counted in from the sides on both sides, the same number. And these are going to be our fronts. This is going to be the back of our cardigan. So our job in part two is to create our armholes at both of these stitch markers and then we're going to sew the shoulders together. We are ready to pick up where we left off from the end of part one. We are still attached here so we are going to chain one and turn. And now we're looking at the back side and we are going to crochet in these first stitches only to the stitch marker. So for the 2-3-T size this is 20 stitches so when I get here I'm going to stop when I hit that stitch marker. Let's go as we have been. All right, so, all right, so here we are, and we have completed the first row of the left front. So you can see that I've started here and I've gone for 20 stitches, which is the size as stated for the 2, 3, T size. Obviously check your pattern if you're making a different size, but you want to end in the same as that stitch marker. You want to end in that same stitch. Now we are just going to turn and continue these 20 stitches only. Um, for as many rows as stated. And for the 2, 3, T size, it says that I need to go to row 46. So that was 33, this is 34, and I'm going to do these 20 stitches until I get finished with row 46. All right, so here we are finished with the first panel. So this is the, technically the left side of the cardigan. I am not going to fasten off. Note that for the child sizes and the adult sizes this is different. It will tell you do not fasten off. So look for that when you see it. Do not fasten off. Place a stitch marker instead. What we're going to do is we're going to use this yarn when we start the hood later and we're eliminating some of the yarn ends that we will have to weave in. So you definitely want to leave it attached where it says to leave attached. Now we are ready to start the center panel. So this is the left and we want to make sure that we're looking at it correctly. So do you remember when we started this panel we came from this side and we ended in the stitch marker. Now what we're going to do in order to start the center is we're going to insert our hook in the same as the stitch marker. I've got a fresh ball of yarn that I'm going to use to start my center panel and I'm going to start in the same as the stitch marker and I'm going to end in the same as the stitch marker. For the 2-3-T size I need to have 30 stitches in between here and as long as I counted correctly when I placed my stitch markers this should be 30 stitches. So I'm going to pull up a loop here so where I've attached my yarn. So I'm going to leave this yarn tail. We're going to weave that in later. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to chain one and I'm going to half double crochet in each of these stitches between the stitch marker. And I'm going to make sure that my stitch count is correct before I move on from this row. So I'm going to crochet all the way down this line When I get to the stitch marker, I'm going to place the last stitch of the back right in that same. And then I'm going to count my stitches to make sure that I have 30. Check your size that you're making and make sure that you are also on track with how many stitches you should have from this first one that we placed here to the last one right here. Thirty stitches, perfect. So now all I'm going to do is, whoops, sorry, wrong way. I am going to complete these rows until I have forty, a total of forty-six here as well. So it's going to end 
at the same place that this one ended, but there's gonna be a slit right here and that's gonna be our armhole. So I'm going to continue my half double crochet rows until I get to the end here and then we're going to move on together to do the right panel. Okay, this is the end of row 46 of the back, the center or back of the 2-3-T. When you get to the end here of your final row of the center, it should be the same height as the left that we just created. So and it should also end on the same side. So your yarn tail is on the right over here, your yarn tail is on the right over here which is good. Now, if you read the pattern, it says that you need to fasten off leaving a long enough tail for sewing. I put 20 inches on there. It doesn't really matter. You don't have to actually measure it, but you do want it to be a decent bit of length because we're going to use this to sew the shoulders. So just go ahead and clip your yarn and we are ready to start on the right panel. So I'm going to fasten off here just by yarning over and pulling it through. We have got our nice little knot there. And now that is ready to sew the shoulders here in a little bit. The next thing that we're going to do is we're going to complete our right panel. And do you remember how we put our hook in the seam as the stitch marker on this side? We're gonna do that over here as well. So I'm putting it right in the same one that that stitch marker is and the same stitch that our last stitch of the center is located. So, remove my stitch marker here since I'm ready. I've got my yarn, the same yarn that I used for my center where I clipped it. And we are going to do the same thing that we did on the left. This is the right, as far as the pattern is concerned anyway. Um, so I'm going to pull up my loop like I did before. I'm going to chain one, single crochet in this same stitch or half double crochet, I don't know why I said single crochet. And we are going to half double crochet all the way to the end of the row. That should leave us with a total of 20 half double crochets for the right panel. Twenty, perfect. So now I am going to continue making this panel exactly how I made this one. When I finish this one, my yarn tail is going to be right here. So I'm going to have a yarn tail here, here, and then on the very outside here. So it's, your yarn tail should always be on the same corner every time you finish. When I finish this one, I'm going to leave a long tail like we did here, and we will sew the shoulders together for the end of part two. So when I get this panel completed, we'll meet back up and we'll sew our shoulders together. All right, so there we are at the end of row 46 of the right panel. So now we've got 46 rows total here, 46 rows total here, 46 rows total here with two lovely little arm holes, and we are ready to sew the shoulders together. So this is the very end of part two of our crochet along. But first things first, I need to make sure that I have enough um, yarn over here to sew. So again, fasten off leaving 20-ish eh, inches or so, something like that. I'm going to pull the yarn through like this, nice and tight. And now I am ready to sew the shoulders. Get my trusty yarn needle ready. I'm going to flip it over like this so that what I'm looking at is actually the right, center, and left, right? So these yarn tails down here, we're going to weave those in later. They're fine, you can go ahead and weave them in if you want to, it doesn't really matter. Our purpose now is to create these shoulders. And you might think, what the heck are we gonna do <laughs> with um, these two arm slits? So where we are still attached, do not mess with this at all. This is where we're still attached to the working yarn from above. So we're gonna move that out of the way. We're gonna fold this one in so that your corners line up. Then we're gonna take this one and fold this one in so that your corners line up. 
and this is going to be our shoulders, okay? This is the front, they overlap, it's okay, they're supposed to. Um, what we're going to do is we're gonna take these long yarn tails where we clipped this one and then this one, get this one out of the way there, you're not being used, get out. <laughs> okay, so we've got our yarn tail here, this one's where we're still attached. We've got both of our yarn tails, these are what we're going to use to sew these together. Okay, for the two, three T size, I am going to sew my shoulders stitch for stitch, so stitch for stitch, for the total of nine stitches. So, let's see if I can make this as easy as possible. Okay, here we've got, I like to hold them up a little bit like this, and what we're doing is we're doing something called the mattress stitch, where we're sewing um, kind of like you tie a shoelace or you lace a shoe. I'm going to grab both sides of that V of the outside stitch of that panel, okay? Grabbing both sides of that V. So that is first stitch. This is first stitch. Go back through. Now this is going to be the second stitch that we're sewing to the second stitch on the back. You always wanna make sure you're getting both sides of that V. Don't pull it too, too tight, because if you pull it too tight, it will start to pucker. You just want it tight enough to where it's not gonna pull apart. So this is number three. This is number three. This is number four. And this is number four, number five, and this is number five, six, six, seven, seven, Eight, eight, nine, and nine. Now we have sewn our shoulder together. I am going to leave this without, I'm not going to weave this in at all. I'm going to leave it kind of hanging out. We're going to use this at the very, very end, the very end of the crochet along to cinch up any holes that are left over after we add the hood and do all of the finishing touches. So I have sewn nine for nine, so I'm going to just let this yarn hang out. I'm not gonna do anything with it, I'm not gonna cut it, not gonna do anything, but that is one shoulder sewn. Now I'm gonna go over to the other side and use this yarn tail that we left earlier. And we're gonna do the same exact thing on this side. Okay, I'm gonna flip it because for some reason I like to work from that side in. <laughs> Don't ask questions, right? <laughs> okay, so we're gonna find the outermost stitch of this side right here. And it's going to be this one and I'm going to make sure that I'm getting both sides of that V. So this is one, four, one. Let me get the whole thing. Awesome. Now we're just gonna do the same thing we did on the other side. So this is gonna be two, four, two, nine, four, nine. And again, I'm not going to fasten off. I'm not going to weave in ends. I'm not going to do anything. I'm just going to leave this yarn hanging out here. Now, the next part for part three, what we're going to do is we're going to build. We're going to take this yarn where we were, and we're going to build the hood together. Then we're also going to put on the edging and the pockets. So I look forward to meeting up with you next week when we start part three of the Painted Canyon crochet along. Look at that awesome armhole. Isn't that great? I love it. I hope you love it too. And I will see you next week for the third installment of the PCC crochet along. Thanks for watching.